An urgent effort is underway off our coast to find and free an entangled gray whale. Good afternoon, I'm Kristen Z. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. It was last seen swimming off the San Mateo County coastline yesterday and could die if the netting isn't cut away. ABC 7 News reporter Tim Johns has the latest on the efforts to find and free that whale. For the second day in a row, the search for the entangled gray whale swimming off the coast of the peninsula continues. The whale, which was first spotted off the Bay Area Tuesday morning, has its tail caught in gill nets. It's probably around a foot thick of gill net just wrapped very tightly. We need some very strong tools that will help us cut through that and help to unwrap the lines. Kathy George works with the Marine Mammal Center and was on the team that went out to examine the whale Tuesday. She says the whale was first seen off the coast of Orange County late last month and was already entangled. George tells us some of the center's partner organizations have put a tracker and some buoys on the animal to keep an eye on it until it was safe to remove the gill net. But after the tracker stopped working, they didn't know where the whale was until it was spotted off the coast of Pacifica Tuesday. The Marine Mammal Center tells me scientists' goals today is to find this whale and tag it once again. That way, with bad weather expected in the coming days, they'll be able to continue monitoring it. As of Wednesday afternoon, George says teams haven't been able to see the whale again, partly because of foggy weather along the coast. She tells us it's important to get the netting off sooner rather than later, though, as it could eventually be fatal for the whale. It could be a slow case of a secondary injury that results from that entanglement. It could be the whale's inability to feed. It could be its inability to get out of the way of other vessels. News of the whale's entanglement has renewed discussion over the use of certain types of gill nets and the effects they can have on animals. In a statement released Tuesday, international advocacy group Oceana called on California lawmakers to pass legislation that would do more to prevent these types of incidents. They're a very non-selective gear type <clears throat> that have high rates of bycatch and bycatch mortality and um, as well as wildlife entanglements. In the meantime, the Marine Mammal Center is asking for the public's assistance in finding the whale. If they do see the whale, if they could report it to 877-SOS-WHALE or call Channel 16, the U.S. Coast Guard, on your marine radio and stand by until trained responders show up, that is the best way to help this whale. In San Francisco, Tim Johns, ABC 7 News.